Hello there guys and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to run Windows 8 properly on a virtual machine. Okay then, so Windows 8's obviously been released, um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to actually run it in a virtual machine if you don't have the guts to install it on a physical machine. Uh, so this could just be for test or or whatever. Okay, so I've now got a copy of VMware Workstation 9. This uh, version of VMware actually supports Windows 8, so you'll probably notice quite an advantage over VMware Workstation 8 and obviously the version 7. So here, here we go, I'm going to show you how to actually get uh, the Windows 8 OS to install on the virtual machine. Okay then, so at the uh, new VMware Workstation Wizard um, we need to select custom so we can customise the settings of the uh, the uh, virtual machine. So Workstation 9, that's the latest obviously. So that gives you 64 gig memory limit, 8 processor limit, 10 network adapters and 2 terabytes worth of disk space limit. Okay, so click next. Uh, give this a second just to read the disk. So we've got the option of going straight from the ISO file, uh, the installer disk. So if we have the Windows 8 disk inserted in the physical CD ROM drive, we can then install from that. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to say install later. So guest operating system this is this is the OS that you'll be running inside the virtual machine so from here you can run MS-DOS VMware uh, Nival Linux Microsoft Windows so as you can see we've got a whole list of uh, pretty much all of the uh, OS's that Microsoft do apart from Windows 1.0 but no one uses that anyway so what's the point in having that so version we need or that Windows 8 or Windows 8 x64 so that's the one I've got so that's what I'm selecting so, so you can go give it a name a location uh, I'll leave that as default for now so you can give it number of processors up to 8 processors if your machine has enough of uh, the processor cores in your physical machine to actually run that okay so you can select number of cores per processor we'll give it a quad core for, for now Okay. Mm, two gig of memory. Let's give that four gig. Okay, that's enough. I've given a better idea. There we go. Eight gig. So obviously you can move this up and down. Gives you a maximum uh, recommended and guest OS minimum uh, memory requirements there. Obviously the memory size must be multiple of four meg. Okay, so next network type. There's three to four different four different options here. Uh please networking, NAT networking and host only. Bridge networking is where it basically connects through to your physical network uh, that you've got. So it'll have its own IP address uh, which will it will it will receive off the DHCP. You've then got NAT, uh, which basically uses the host uh, computer's IP address to distribute files on through your network and host only networking which is basically just a network between the host machine and the guest machine okay so for now we're going to select uh, use bridged networking click next uh, we're going to use the LSI SAS new virtual hard disk uh, SCSI 60 gig that'll be fine so if set that up and we can go to customize hardware from here you can see we've got 8 gigs of RAM as, as I selected there's that so so you got accelerate 3D graphics and from the CD DVD what else I can do is I'm going to select the uh, location of the ISO file that I want to use in this case it is on okay so if we can go to Microsoft Windows I've got a whole load uh, and I've actually forgotten to put it there. Now if I just find it. Oh, there we go, Windows 8 Professional. Uh, so I've got the 64 bit 
Pro version of its 3 gig. Okay, so if we open that, that gives it a, the location there. So it's just saying it's now on the network location because mine is. So click finish. We can now see we've got the virtual machine here. Okay, so we can now click power on. And you will now notice that it should hopefully, there we go, boot off the Windows 8 DVD. Okay, so this will obviously take a, a little while to install, but obviously if you've got an ISO file on your hard disk to install it from, I'd recommend doing it from there, because the installation is going to be much quicker, because it can be quicker from the hard disk than it can from the CD-ROM drive. So yeah, uh, I'll wait for that to boot. And once it has, we've got the Windows 8 setup. Uh, if you haven't been through the setup yet, please check out my video by clicking the link uh, on below there on the button. Okay, so thank you for, for watching. Uh, please like, rate, comment and subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment below. And also, tell me whether you like Windows 8. So comment below, tell me whether, whether you do like it or not, what could be improved etc uh, and thanks for watching